All right, all vacuumed up. Well, you know, vacuumed up all the nails and that, which is the main point. Um, obviously, it's not super clean, but why would it be? It's about to get covered in sawdust thanks to this beauty. Look at that. Oof. Trusty Steed I've used for countless rooms so far on Sunbird. First time using it in Molten. Um, really hoping it treats me well. <laughs> Hope it treats me well. It's about 3.30, so we've got a couple hours, a few hours maybe of sanding um, that I can do to hopefully transform this room, well, at least into a coarse version of what it's gonna look like. Um, put my PPE on, hit my um, box of Goodies, thanks to Flexi High Long Reach. Hashtag not sponsored. Sponsor us. Anyway, um, and yeah, I'm about to hit the hit the sander. Hopefully, um, it doesn't blow up. Like you know, sandpaper doesn't tear as soon as it hits the deck, which it always does um, on the first go, which pains me. Anyway, hopefully, I have a good run here and it's um it's smooth sailing. I must be doing something wrong. I'm cursed because the first time it touches the deck, every single time. It's a certified freaking explosion here. Oh, it's so annoying. It's so frustrating. Anyway, just consider that a totally fresh wasted piece of sand. Let's try and start again. So I've just done a start. Um, my extension cord was too short, so I had to get this one. So it brought me to a stop. But the boards are stunning. They've come this really sort of, I mean, they could be cedar. I'm not sure, it looks kind of red. Um, I'm not very good at identifying wood, but I know cedar's red, um, but it could be anything. But anyway, that's a really, really good sign. Hopefully the, that that's just the putty, but, um, as all things, I think the reason my bloody thing blows up the first time is because I feed the sandpaper in the wrong way. But anyway, that's for me to learn from, but definitely worth keeping in mind if you use one of those sanders to, if it's directional grit sandpaper to feed it in the right way. Silly. All right, so the method to my madness, there isn't really much, um, just sort of the way I do it. Um, I normally just give it a go over up and back and then obviously I'll move my sander around here and do up and back here. Uh, and then I'm gonna do obviously a different angle here, up and back, just to cover the entire deck because um, already you start seeing the odd nail that might've just been cut too hidden, um, sort of coming up. I think I nicked one, a big one, a good one here. Oh, few actually, not really, that's not real good. Yeah, just these two here. Um, that's no good for the sandpaper, no good for the sander. So I go and pop those out or pop them in. Then I will do a diagonal run because obviously trying to flat, flatten it out. This section right here is hideously, hideously wavy. So that's all right. Um, I'm really happy with the progress the initial runs made. It's made a lot more faster progress than the Sunbird run I've done. Um, and yeah, I'll uh, pop those nails in, hopefully not find any more in here or more along here, and um, then start doing a diagonal run, or whichever way I end up doing it. Um, and then I'll really sort of start, you know, this section here, I might do like a couple of boards up, a couple of boards up, really just concentrate, ba ba ba. Then I might do a couple of boards here, ba ba ba, ba ba ba, ba ba ba, spin it around. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Really just try and concentrate, work down some of the ridges, get some proper sanding in, you know, in all the different parts. Not sanded because it's down too low, you can feel it. Um, sanding because it's up high enough. Anyway, um, I've got the rest of the afternoon hopefully to just fine tune this floor using the uh, 40 grit, which is, which is decently gritty. I don't think this floor needs much more. I could be wrong. I've used 24 before, but um, that can be, that can be seriously traumatic and gritty. Anyway, back to it.
so it's about know, 5.30 or 6. Should have checked considering I'm using my phone as a camera. Um, and tools down on the molten block. Um, I spent a fair bit of time using doing this back corner, just a small section of diagonals. And um, I mean, look at it. I feel like that's, that's evident. <laughs> Obviously I haven't gone on the orbital yet, but if we compare that, it's quite cohesive, quite well sanded. Um, I haven't given the same level of attention and care to the main section of the room. Um, but just getting this little section as tight as I could, um, yeah, it's definitely sort of given me severe, heavy optimism that, that this is gonna come up nice. This is gonna come up really nice. There's some really hard to get sections like this. <sighs> to some extent, I just have to go and, you know, it's a bit of a, again, weekend warrior DIY attitude, but I mean, I might hit that with my own finishing sander. Could even hit it with the orbital if I get it working well enough. Um, but just some of the streaks, some of the bits that are just too wobbly, just too out of reach, too, you know, indented. I've just got to let it go, I think. Um, do my absolute best, I'm going to finish sand, don't get me wrong. But um, I'm just using my higher machine, which is serving me so well, um, really well. Tons of little nails have popped up along the way and it's, you know, I've lost a few sandpapers, but it's been an absolute charger. Um, I'm really excited. Oh, I mean, yeah, that's, oh, look at that. And then look at that, look at that, then look at that. That's just one lot of grit. You know, I haven't got the stuff putty. All right, I could go on all day, but I won't go to the river with my dog and my girlfriend or my fiance. Whoa, my dog and my fiance, my fiance Danny has been working really hard today. Um, she's been on the paint. She's been getting all the cupboards painted because they weren't and then some were in wet areas and that's just not kosher, if I can say that. Anyway, catch you on the morrow, bright and early. All right, so you may not be able to tell by my outfit, which is the same as yesterday. Oof, that wasn't a very flattering angle. <laughs> um, but we're back, day two on the job with this um, surprisingly, nothing's changed overnight bedroom. Um, today, first thing I've done actually is, you might remember back in Sunbird, the um, nail foot fill that I used, the, the putty that I used in the bedroom, um, was kind of almost the same color as this. It was a natural that I used in there, but that's supposed to be some Ash Moranti style, Moranti style um, putty filler. And it's just come out white, and that's just given me mad, mad concerns, because I don't want to do a really, hopefully really nice job, which I think that's looking really good um, so far, and have the, the nail fill steal its thunder. So I found just one tiny little jar of this dark walnut, dark oak slash walnut. Now walnut, that's a favorite of mine. And already, this is the walnut that I've just thrown down. Looks so much more promising, really promising, but Mighty Might is closed on Sunday here in Longreach. So this is all I've got um, to do this room. Now, just a, a fingerful went a pretty long way. I got five nail whole fills out of it. So maybe, just maybe, I can stretch this. Oh, if I don't spill it everywhere. Um, Cause I'm thinking this is gonna be the way to go. Um, it's better to be a perfect match for the wood, but I think a darker fill is gonna steal less of the thunder than a, a light fill. Anyway, um, first things first, I'm gonna get back on this beautiful boy. Hey dee. Um, I'm gonna do this big section here, lots more diagonals, lots more up and backs, try and get it into the same side of kind of shape as that. And um, fill the holes around the inside. While that's drying, I'm gonna get on the orbital and I'm gonna do these edges, as you can see. Um, ba -ba -ba. So while that's drying, doing the edges, once I'm done the edges, hopefully I can jump straight back on the sander with a 60 or 80 grip. Give it another tidy up, polish up, Give it the 120 or the 100, whatever I've got, to finish the job. Then I'm gonna do the 120 or whatever with the orbital around the edges and the job will be done. It sounds simple. It's like nine o'clock now, I think. So I'm gonna get cracking because I've got until the end of the day to finish with the sander.
Now I'm no expert, but um, pretty sure that after some period of time, these masks get clogged or the filters get clogged because um, comes a time when I can't breathe in them. So got a big pack there. Um, status report. Trust me, there's been there's been progress. Progress report, I should say. Um, I'm just doing. I've just done a bunch of these. Now I'm doing a bunch of these. This section here is super uneven. Um, early on, when I was even just you know going up and back, it was just the sand was just going like, which can't be good. Um, so I've been yeah doing the diagonals um, diligently, 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 diligently to um, to flatten them out a bit. I'm pretty sure that's the uh, way to do it. Um, as you can see, I'm. I'm Still standing down. This sandpaper, it's, probably, it's going to be getting really flat or really um, flat, I guess. Yeah, you could call it. All the grits are coming off. Um, but it's serving me so well, I don't want to change it off. It's kind of counterintuitive, but um, I'm sure it's got plenty more on it. Uh, I just don't take for granted the grits, the sandpapers that desperately want to stay on. They're my favourite. So I'm just going to keep sort of abusing it, I guess, to make it uh, break or tear or whatever. Um, keep doing these diagonals here. I haven't done this yet. Um, but yeah, just trying to get in to, so as many of these little black spots that are, you know, too low. That's a good example. I think maybe you can see that it's clearly gone high, low there. Um, I don't know if that shows it well enough. Either way, I'm not going to get it perfect. Sections like that, that's a big dip but I can get it really, really close so that the amount of effort I have to put into a finishing sand, just with my little hand sander um, on these little sections here, is reduced. It's always better to use the big heavy bopper to, to just sand up as much as humanly possible because um, it's, it's built for it, built different. Um, anyway, uh, also update on my bloody bloomin' putties. Oh, oh, I am pretty stoked about that. That's really good. Um, um, you know, maybe I could have matched it better, but that beats that big time. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna try and milk that little container for as much as humanly possible. Some more uh, bloody, where is it? Where is it? Where are you? I don't even see it on this camera. There it is. More bits of um, nail are starting to show through. Um, there's one over here as well, probably covered by sawdust now, knowing my luck. One up the end here. So I'm gonna go through and punch more of those in just so I can keep sanding with ease. But yeah, thrilled actually. Um, it's taking its time, but this is the critical sand in my opinion. This is the sand that gets the boards back to a sandable position. And the future sands are the ones that, um, that just polish it up, really, that don't tear up as much or grit up as much. Anyway, working with sweat as you can see, sweat, 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 droplets of sweat. But um, can't waste time, back to work. A moment of silence for the hardest working piece of 40 grit sandpaper in the game. What a soldier, what a soldier. So I'd be lying to you if I didn't say I was a bit behind schedule. Um, it's 12.20, I'd have loved to have had this done and to be into the puttying and wood filling uh, at 12 o'clock because I've got to still putty. I have to all the sand the edges completely there, completely bare at the moment. Um, then I have to fill the edges, fi finish with the higher grit sands on the main section. Then while the edges are drying from the putty, then after that, I'll hit it with the orbital. Oh my gosh, I'm not really making sense. I've been working hard, non-stop. I'm a soldier, I'm a, you know, I'm a worker. <laughs> no. People have um, real tough times. I'm a weekend warrior. Um, so yes, I'm gonna hit the ground running with this puttying uh, for the millionth time to obsess. This is the finished kind of putty. It is, look, could it have been darker? Yes. Could it have fit the floor better? Yes. But a lot of these boards are different colors. No matter what color I choose, I'm gonna have you know, a different uh, match each, each um, wood. So each wood, oh my God. Let's jump into it. Time to start puttying. Fingers crossed I get this done before the end of the day. Um, because yeah, I'd love to have it done. Side note, really quick, this vacuum right here. Oh, I figured out how to use it. 
amazing, amazing. It really sucks. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really good and I love it now that I can use it. Get to work, time to start putting. All right, so I'm not very far through and I'm already very far through <laughs> my decently matched putty. Um, so yeah, just, that's all I've done. So I'm gonna take, this is a tip I learned from Glenn um, and I just have no idea if it's gonna work this time, but I need to get onto the front foot with it. He would take a big amount of the color that he liked and a small amount of the color that he uh, was mixing with and just chuck little bits of that into there and just mix it really well. And the color will continuously probably get lighter, but the stronger, the more I can keep in there, the darker it's gonna stay for the longest period of time. Um, I don't really have much choice, mine is closed. Um, I need to get this sanding done. It may not be the end of the world, Danny doesn't seem to think so, but I uh, worry because I just love, I'm really proud of what I'm doing with the floors here. And I wanna do a really good job, but hopefully I can still do a good job this way. So there's no doubt that it's the colour's getting lighter, but here's an example that I've been doing. This is the Ash Moranti, this is the Walnut Dark Oak, and I've done so much mixing now that they are, you know, it's getting lighter, no doubt about it, but um, hopefully, I haven't had a good chance to look at it, but hopefully it's not too shabby. So let's drop it in there, give it a little mix, 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 pop the lid back on the Ash Moranti, make sure I'm using the right one, and uh, hook back in. Almost done this room. Um, I ended up doing all of the edges as well, just because um, I felt like it. Which is a good enough reason, I reckon. Um, and that way I can do the orbital and just crack straight into the um, final bit of sanding that I'll need to do. Oh, that's too much of a blob. It's all right. Um, and yeah, hopefully still on track to get this done. I'm not real sure, but. Um, Worst come to worst, I'm going to work into the night and apologise to Father Shadru next door. <laughs> Hopefully it doesn't come to that, because he's good bloke. Doesn't deserve that level of disrespect. But I gotta do it. Alright, this is probably shaping up to be another like 40 minute video. <laughs> but it is what it is. Um, so, it's about 1.30 or so. Puttying everywhere took about an hour. I'll say an hour and 10 minutes or something, I'm not sure. Um, which is fine. Um, I'm gonna hit the orbital now all around these edges, uh, give them as much of a tight up as possible. I've had mixed bag experiences with Yonder Friendly Orbital. Um, lovely machine, incredible when it works and you get it right. Sometimes I get it wrong and it leaves burn marks and the stuff from the ring in the middle. Um, I'm not quite sure how to not have that happen if it's just, how I put the, the pad on or something like that, but hopefully that's not a problem this time because I really need this to go smoothly and fast so I can get the sander out here, do the one, do the 80 and the 120 grit, um, then hit the 120 grit on the orbiter, orbital just to get it all tidy around the edges, and that'll be it, calling it a day. So I've got about four or five hours to do that. Jump into it. So the orbital, I'm a shaky camera. The orbital's proving to be, as usual, the biggest workout. I need to stabilize that, otherwise you're gonna get seasickness. Um, the orbital's proving to be the biggest workout of the job. Um, I'm not doing a great job with the bag. It's sort of just blowing the dust out, which isn't great, but um, I'm keeping my eyes peeled for any spot fires. Um, but I've, I've done about half of the room. Oh, this is killing me. All the way around here, all the way around here, all the way around here. 
We'll land it. The, whew, my hands are, my delicate hands are blistered. Um, I'm sore, I'm tired, but I'm working it. I'm working the orbital the way I think it's intended to, aside from the dust. So, user error. Like, you know, I've sanded so many floors, I'm still learning, I'm still an amateur, gross amateur. Use error previously, all those other times. Now I feel like I've got it, I've got it better. Um, I've got the edges decently well sanded too. Woo! Got to get it done, it's about 220. Got just another little section there, and then I'm onto the floors, and I've got, you know, maybe three hours, two and a half hours or something to just do a good couple of sands and then finish with a 120 grid on the orbital. <coughs> Dusty as hell in here. Um, look at this cobweb up here. How cool is that? <laughs> it's all dusty. Anyway, um, no time for dilly-dallying. Back to work. Okay, I've got the shakes pretty bad. Big job. Edges sanded. I just set the fire alarms off. See how dusty it is? Um, so I'm gonna get the vacuum out, get rid of this. I'm gonna touch it up certain sections of the floor with the orbital just to um, get a really nice steady finish across the way. Then back on the big rig with the 60 or the 80, the 80 probably, then the 120, and then 120 around the edge with the orbital and she's bloody finished, you beauty. Okey-dokey, just on the 80 grit, um, straightforward, super simple, um, pretty much cleaned up all of the um, holes that I punched, which don't look too bad in this camera, but in real life, I'm probably super sensitive to them, I don't know, but they look all right, they look pretty good, they look passable. Um, now I'm just gonna go over with the 120, uh, and then I'll orbital around the sides. Um, I'm actually thinking I might orbital around the sides first and see how we go. Um, but here's little Miss PPE. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna empty that bag. The bucket, the bin's pretty much full, so that's a lot of sawdust. Um, and I'm ready to go. What do you reckon, D? Your best room ever. Whoa, that's what I wanna hear. Really good. That's what I'm working for. My, yeah, I don't know. I'll save the critiques for the end. We'll see how we go up. Go, but I'm hoping the 120 smooths out some of the bumps and the jumps that you'll see. Anyway, can you tell how done with this job I am? <laughs> uh, making more work for myself when I'm finished. All right, so I've wheeled out the big bopper. Ew! And this is the final look of the main floor area. I haven't done the edges as you can see, but um, oh, it looks awesome. Looks really, really, really good. Um, critically, I've got some, you know, wave marks from where the sand has kind of jumped, but I'm dealing with really uneven floors and I'm an amateur, so um, adds character. I'll say it's um, the age of the wood you can see or something. But anyway, I'm going to jump into the orbital sand, just straight onto the 120. Hope that comes up a treat. There's not much of a gap difference between the edges and the uh, main spot. Um, might have to hit up that section with the finishing sand 120 as well, but this is exciting. I'm so close. All right. It's done. <laughs> it's done. <laughs> oh, what a big day. What a big day. Um, just went around the edges with the finishing sand. 
to make up for the awful job of orbital sanding I did. Um, I'm hoping that once we give it a vacuum and a mop, she's all good. But I'm gonna jump into that because I'm burning daylight. That's a bit gross. That is a bit gross. It's at least a little bit cleaner.